Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Danny and in today's video I will introduce you to the very basics of web design. Specifically, we will talk about web design layouts and web design areas. If you have no idea what that means, then you have come to the right place. My intention is to uh, talk to people who have no idea what web design is or somehow need to work with a web designer and they need the slang, the words, the keywords that they need to use with that web designer or web developer. And also, I want you to learn some of the essentials of what makes a web page. This is a very important yet very simple video, so stay with me and let's get started. To start off, let me break the topics of today's video, which is going to be less than 10 minutes, I'm hoping. First, we will talk about the header, and then we will talk about the content area, then we will talk about the sidebars, and finally, about the footer. These four elements make the web page of any website or any web page that you see out there in the universe. Let's start off with talking about the header. So the header is the topmost portion of any web page, and generally it is the section that is repeatable on each and every subpage. You place things that you need to have there because they are important and they are there for the user to make use of. To start off, your logo. If you're a business, an organization, or whatever, you need to have a logo. That's your brand, that's your image, and this is where it needs to go. Generally, it's on the left-hand side of the header. If you have a tagline, you need to put it there as well in your header. Another important element is the main site navigation or the main menu. And this is where you have navigation to your web pages, your inner subpages. And it's very important that you put it in your header because the user need to have access to it anytime. Moving on, if you have anything else related to the user, for example, if your website uh, has some kind of an account management, you need to put the login, logout, and also the registration for your website. Make sure you place it in the header. We also need to put a telephone number and a telephone number is very important because it's the call to action. It's one of the most important things that sometimes people ignore or think it's not useful, but it is essential to have it there on your header or so actually in your header and make it very visible. Ideally, you might want to have a click to action where people, if they click on it from their mobile phone, for example, it will start a phone call uh, immediately as they click on the link. You might want to put other contact information such as an email address or a contact form. Another important essential element in the header is the search. Many companies or websites choose to ignore the search and this is a very important functionality. Make sure that when you're designing a new home page, make sure to talk to your designer or developer and uh, ensure that there is proper functional search engine behind your website. So when people uh, decide to go to the search uh, input field and type in something, they get meaningful results. And finally, if you have social media networks, if you are part of Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, make sure you place small icons or links in your header so that people and users would know about them. Moving on to the content area. This is the section of a web page which generally changes from one page to another. And this is where you have the bulk of your information. So if you have a blog, for example, this is where your blog content would go. If you have a news article, this is where the content of your news would go, and so on and so forth. Now, the content area should have a title. So your blog posts need to have a title, and this is generally heading one in your page. Also, it needs to have a photo. It's very essential and important that you have visual elements on your web pages that will drive attention and will keep your user entertained all the time. You also need to have uh, some kind of a content. Make sure that you place some text there. Very useful and meaningful content need to go there. Don't just put anything. And uh, 
you need to cross-link your pages. And these are called inline links, meaning within your content, you could have a link to certain keywords that would link to other subpages. And this will enhance the user interaction and make the flow of information more seamless and nice when your user is reading through your web page. Also, you could have related links, so at the bottom of the article or of your main content, if you feel that there are relevant links that need to go there because it will make the user more uh, understand more about that particular page, you might want to add it at the end of the article. And finally, in your content area, make sure you place some kind of promotions or discount codes or any sort of advertisement that you wish your user or your visitor to interact with and know about. Moving on, let's talk about the sidebars. Sidebars are very important. Some companies, especially these days or nowadays, they choose to ignore the sidebars completely. However, um, they are essential. In my opinion, you need to have at least one sidebar. You might want to choose the left-hand side or the right-hand side to put your search information, or sorry, your sidebar information there. So, um, again, left or right, it doesn't matter. Some people choose both. And I would advise you, if you want to choose both a left and a right-hand sidebar, make sure that you have relevant information to go there. So what can you put there? You can put a secondary menu. Sometimes if your website is too big and the hierarchy of your web page is too deep, then you need to have a secondary navigation and that is ideal to be placed in the left-hand left sidebar. You also need to have repeatable items there, of course, because you're not going to have or you're not going to create a different sidebar for every subpage. It will be a nightmare. So you need to, to have repeatable items such as, again, promotions, advertisements and related links. And this is very important. Make, you, make sure that your developer knows about using the sidebar and he knows about that he needs to create, he or she needs to create a sidebar for your subpages. And finally, if you have news about your company, it's a good place to put it there in the sidebar. Now let's move on to talk about the footer. The footer is somehow similar to the header, however, it's the final or the bottom part of your page. And in there, you could repeat things again. So you could have information such as your copyright information or the copyright statement. It can also include the terms of conditions or the terms of use. And also, the privacy policy is very important to talk to a lawyer or talk to anybody who can provide you with proper privacy policy about uh, your website and make sure that you link it at the bottom part of your page that is in your footer. You also need to put a phone number again there because sometimes people scroll at the bottom of the page and trying to look for contact information. Unfortunately, people are used to just scrolling down and hoping for magic to happen. So make sure you put that magic there. Your telephone number is one of the spices that you need to put there. It's your direct link from your homepage directly to your office. So make sure that it's visible and that it's actionable, meaning if somebody clicks on it, it opens up a Skype call. For example, if they are calling from their a laptop or desktop and it can dial a phone number if they are doing that through their mobile phone. And finally, you can have additional contact information and least but not, uh, I would say the most important section there is your mini sitemap and we'll talk about that in a, in a, in a special video. But you need to place major links to your uh, main sections of your homepage that is very important to keep them there visible in your footer. And finally, that's optional. If you need to have a logo for yourself, you can put it there at the bottom. I've seen a few pages do that and it looks good. Make sure it's kind of transparent and not too obstructive because it can be uh, annoying at times. This concludes today's video. And remember, the four essential parts of any web page are the header, the footer, the content area, 
and the sidebar. These are very important that you implement the elements within those areas in a very uh, good way so that users have the best user interaction on your web page. And with the conclusion of today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you sign up for a free account with webop.com if you want to watch more in-depth videos about web design. These videos will only be available for members of webop.com. Membership is free, but you have to sign up. So go and sign up now. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends.